right, getting really, really into Japanese knives now. I bought this Tanto blade blank from Heine Haynes for, I think it was about 15 pounds or so. They did a really nice Damascus one, but it was a little bit more than I wanted to pay. And first stage handle will be out of bamboo. And what I'm gonna do is just keep taking that down until that sits nicely over there. This bit's coming off. I'd like to extend this bit, this, this to make a slot, because I've actually managed to find the right stuff for tying a handle. And the theory is not very difficult. The practice is a lot harder. Um, so just actually wrap it around like that. Twist once, twice. That one, do the same, twist upwards once, twice, take it around there, take it around there, and that is essentially how to wrap the handle. Um, it does take quite a lot of practice, it looks easy, but it actually, it's a bit harder than it looks. But anyway, I managed to find this stuff on, I think it was ninecircled.com, uh, UK based which again, I'm really pleased with. And I think that contrast with the brass pins that will go through there and going over the top of that, I think that's going to look really quite smart. And I've managed to find this bit of bamboo that will try and make a sheath with it. So yeah, that might be a bit more difficult than I thought. That's going to require quite a lot of thinking. Right, let's see what we can do with it. Right, a couple of hours work, and um, I've got a lot further than I thought I was gonna get, actually. Handle is on, it's glued and pinned. Still waiting to wrap it, still waiting to remember what the wrapping's actually called. But that's on. The sheath is made, slot cut in here for the guard, and I've also tried a little channel just in here so it will slide in and out a bit more neatly. A bit more securely. That fits in. And that fits in quite nice and securely. Um, no rattle, it's not going to fall out. I'm going to put a coat of Danish oil over this one to give a bit more of a polishing, I think. So I think that will look that will look really, really smart. So um <laughs> progressing uh, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. And again, it's it's been quite easy. I did round the edge of the handle off. I haven't taken the finger guard off, obviously, and I haven't done anything to the blade either. Right. So it's very nearly finished. Um, I found a lotus flower stamp. Uh, yeah, that hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped at all. So with the Ito, which is that string stuff, we're going to do what I think is called Tsukamaki, which is wrapping the handle. I think that's what it's called. It's a bit complicated. It seems the word seems to change depending on what you're actually uh, going to be wrapping. So first stage, I have practiced this, but I've not practiced doing it through a camera. Um, first stage will be with a little bit of super glue, just making sure that that will be firmly attached so to that side. That side. And twist it upwards. Once, twice, and let's let that dry for a minute. Right, that's now dried, so we can begin the rest of the wrap. Once, twice, and that one the same. Turn it once. Turn it twice, keep it nice and tight, and pretty much carry on 
all the way up the handle. This does take a bit of practice. It's quite a lot of practice. I spent a couple of evenings trying to do this. So I'm hoping this is now going to go right. Let's see how we finished it. Right, that's that just about done. We'll try and finish it off. The reason I wanted to cut a slit in the top or extend that slot in the top is to tie these through and finish it off like that. Um, but I didn't. So this might be a little bit more difficult. I'll have to finish it off with super glue. It's not ideal. But it's what I've got. So a few drops of super glue. One there. And some there. Let that dry. Then we will cut off the excess. The clamp in. Keep that nice and taut and give that a couple of minutes. Right, clamps off. So with a very, very sharp blade. It is, honestly. We'll cut that off. Yep, and I'm just going to put another couple of little dabs of super glue. Use this gel actually. Just on those bits. Stop it fraying any further. And try and neaten it up. And then when that's dried as well. I can do the big reveal. <laughs> I am so pleased with that. Apparently the way to see if it's done really well is that these should form really neat triangles. Like, well, actually, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. So that is essentially, I've got to write it down on this little bit of paper because I kept forgetting the word, is how to do sukamaki with Ito. And I was genuinely, I was really surprised how easy this stuff was to find online. I, I didn't, I didn't kind of assume anybody would actually be selling it, but they are. And that was what two meters to do that, and I've got what that much left. Don't think we're gonna do very much with that. Yeah. So this is the finished tanto. Oh, I was going to say it's quite firm in that, but ram it in properly. Quite firm, no rattles, nice bit of bamboo, nice little channel in there so you can hold it fairly firmly to pull the knife out. And what a knife, obviously this needs polishing but I haven't got very very fine glass paper yet. That's it. <laughs> the only thing I regret is that this is actually a finished project, I'd have to move on to another one. Um, genuinely, genuinely happy with it, I'm not going to try any cutting tests, that's not the point get a blade blank and have quite a lot of fun.